In addition to installing libraries when you want to add additional functionality, let's say you wanted to add a new type of Arduino board, for example, a Feather Huzza. The Arduino software doesn't necessarily come with all the information to be able to program one of these boards. So how would you do that? You would install a new core, and installing cores has become a very simple task. Let's walk through how to do it. Again, I'm going to go stop over at Adafruit.com and take a look for the Circuit Playground. That's a board that I don't have installed right now, but I do have other Adafruit boards installed. And your manufacturer should provide a link, just like a library, to their board files. And if I look at their tutorial, I know already that I can just click on this link. And it brings me to the information about installing a new core. Again, a core is the information for the software to know how to program a specific board. In this case, they will give you a URL. And what you do is you copy that URL. Then in your Arduino software, you will go to Preferences. And right here you'll see on the bottom of your Preference window, Additional Board Manager. And there's a list here. Conveniently, if you click on this little window, you'll get a list of additional URLs. And what I can do is click in here and paste that Adafruit GitHub Arduino Board Index. Click OK and click OK again. And I like to typically quit Arduino, load it back up. That just refreshes everything. I've just had better luck doing that. I recommend you do that anytime you install a board file. And now when I go to my tools and boards, you can see I have all these boards right here. But notice I don't have that Adafruit board that I was looking for, the Circuit Playground. But when I go into Board Manager now, I can scroll down here, Arduino, Adafruit AVR boards. I click on this area, click Install, click Close. And look at that. All the Arduino boards are there. Adafruit Circuit Playground, and I would select that one. And that should give you a good overview on how you would install a custom board that the software doesn't already include.